Hello, everyone. Today I'm showing you my pipe cleaner curl updo. Bang, bangs in the front, loose in the back, and a cute little bun at the top. Stay tuned to see me install my pipe cleaners for this look. Okay, so here I go. I'm starting out with Lotta Body Setting Lotion. I usually use Lotta Body Setting Lotion in my hair because it really does keep those curls in. And yes, I'm a little bad. I am using LA Looks Dora Hold. And it is a gel and I like it because it really gives me firm curls. Uh, for a uh, retwist, it will make your hair hard, okay? For curls, it doesn't generally make my hair hard, but it, they, it does hold my curls in very firmly, so they'll last a long time. And after having locks for this long, that's pretty much all I care about. <laughs> I wash my hair usually about every two weeks. So here I go. I'm spreading the lot of body. It's in a random spray bottle that's easy for me to use, easy for me to hold. That's why I chose it. So just ignore the bottle. It has a combination of lot of body and water inside of it. And now I am just going to install the, the lock, the pipe cleaners on the locks in front for my bang. As you can see, this part is sped up because it was a little tedious to watch. It wasn't bad to do, you know, just do it while you're watching a movie or something and the time will go by very quickly. In fact, I might have been watching a movie when, <laughs> when I was curling this up. <laughs> Notice that I use one lock on each pipe cleaner. Many other YouTubers use two or even three locks on their pipe cleaners, but because my locks are medium to thick, so, and they are all very long. So I have to, just because of the length, I can usually put comfortably only one lock per pipe cleaner. When I try adding two or three, it's hard to, for the lock for the it's hard for the pipe cleaners to stay in my head. So, so I just go for just one, and then I like a really tight curl anyway. So if I do decide to take the pipe cleaners out of the front, which you can absolutely do, and I have some styles coming up in which you can see that I'm using. I'm just ha I just have a curly bang with the pipe without the pipe cleaners. So if you want to do that and you want like really curly, curly, curly hair on the front, you will use fewer locks on your pipe cleaners. And make your bang as wide or as narrow as you choose. It's totally up to you, of course. If you want just a half bang, that's really cute too. So that's another consideration.
So I spray the lotta body on each lock and I put a dollop, you decide how much, of gel on each lock and just curl them up until I'm happy with the width and how they're falling on my face. So that's just about it for the bangs. I just have a couple more, maybe one or two more that I want to do for the bangs. Okay, so now I'm going to start on my ponytail. So I just grab a nice little amount of hair. Now keep in mind that you are going to be putting pipe cleaners in this ponytail. So if you make a large ponytail, you will have to add many pipe cleaners to it. You know, especially if you use one pipe cleaner per lock. If your ponytail is smaller, that's fewer, fewer pipe cleaners. And if you're like me and you're going to leave the back of your hair loose, that's also fewer pipe cleaners. For this particular style, I did leave the back of my hair out. I didn't put pipe cleaners on it, but I think I did eventually. So sometimes I would do my hair in parts. I would make the ponytail and put the pipe cleaners on there and then you know, a day later, I'll do the I'll do the, the part that's you know left out in the back. Now there, I think I did use two pipe two of the locks on there, but some of my locks are doubled. Are do they call those dragon heads? I do have some locks with that are combined. In fact, I had some locks with actually three combined together, and that was because I put my hair in a braid out. <laughs> one time and my hair locks really fast so I had my hair in a braid out and I didn't take out all the braids but I was washing my hair and I noticed that I had a braid or two left in the back that had combined together so as time went on I, I left my hair like that for a while you could not even tell but as time went on I ended up cutting cutting off the the excess locks <laughs> And I think that's one of them. So some of the shorter locks, it's because they were bright, they were combined together and I cut them off. So if you do choose to use the, that's what I'm showing you. If you do choose to use the lot of body, you might wanna have some paper towels or napkins nearby to, to wipe your hands as the, for me, the setting lotion always seems to roll down my arms as I'm locking, um, excuse me, as I'm rolling my hair up on the pipe cleaners. So, and also the gel is going to get on your hands. So it's going to be, it will be a gooey mess. I highly recommend to have paper towels, hand sanitizer, whatever you need. So you can just sit down watch a movie or whatever and knock it out. You might be wondering, is this style comfortable to sleep in? My answer to that is it depends. It depends on how you position the pipe cleaners. Even if you position them well, you might get stuck <laughs> a couple of times, but just move them, you know, to so that they do not stick you and you'll be you'll be fine. And I think that for this style, because you know it's a high ponytail. I don't think that I was really stuck with with this particular style. 
So because the pipe cleaners, they do have, I haven't found any pipe cleaners that do not have sharp edges. So most of them, they are made of metal with some type of uh, material wrapped around the, the pipe cleaner, the metal parts on the ends, they're usually sharp. So you also, if you fold down the ends, that's what I do, I fold down the ends. And I think that you can even put something like tape, maybe electric tape or something on the ends of the pipe cleaners to keep them from, like get some black, try black electrical tape. That might help if they do stick you a lot. But for me, just folding down the ends and wrapping the ends around the pipe cleaner, that that helps significantly to keep them from, from scratching me. So like the one I just did that you see there, now that one probably would get me because I didn't fold it down correctly. I just kind of fold it under, but if I if I wrapped it like two times and then wrapped it in around the pipe cleaner, then it will be much more effective <laughs> as to not to not to um, prick me in the middle of the night. <laughs> so if you if you install the pipe cleaners carefully, you should be all right. And see this one, this is another one that I have the shorter and I had to redo it, take it down and just wrap it carefully. If your hair is, see some of my locks are really short. So yes, you can definitely do the style with shorter hair. In fact, it'll take, take you less time and it might, and it'll probably look even cuter because you have tighter, smaller curls that will last longer than mine do. So it would, you know, I, I definitely recommend this style. As long as you can put your hair up into a ponytail and have, you know, some hanging, then you'll you'll be all right. Now make sure you form your pony your bun into the shape that you want it to be in. And I I am using some hairpins to hold mine in into the shape that I want it to be in. You might not need to have any of the hairpins. I don't like to use the hairpins because sometimes it's the hairpins that are scratching me <laughs> in my head and not the pipe cleaners at all. But I wanted my I wanted my bun to be as high up as possible. And when I don't when I don't add the hairpins my bun kind of hangs down a little bit looking more like uh, just a ponytail and I want it to be like really at the top of my head. So there you have it. There is the finished look. And you can totally wear this style for a few days. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks so much for watching.